Hi loves! Normally I don't do intros for my video, but today is different. In today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a jellaba hoodie and this one was inspired by the jellaba, which is a silhouette that a lot of Muslims wear. I feel that due to recent events a lot of negative focus has been played on Muslims and I wanted to speak up about it. I'm not a Muslim myself, but I have friends who are Muslims. I have people who I work with who are Muslims. And the Muslims that I know are like extremely kind people that are all about the community spirit, the brotherhood and just being a good person overall. I wanted to ask you to be mindful about what you read, hear and see in the media. Because not everything that they see, say is the truth. And there's a girl that I follow on Instagram that shared a picture after what happened in Paris that highlights this point. Let me show you. I know what it's like to be discriminated against and it doesn't feel good. Because like when somebody discriminates you, they choose to believe the worst about you. And why would you do that? You don't know me, you don't know where I'm from, you don't know if I'm a good person or not, yet you choose to discriminate me based upon what I look like, where I'm from. And in the case of Muslims, it's their religion. And I mean, not too long ago, society's scapegoats were the Jews. And we all know how that ended up. And I don't want to see that the same thing happen to Muslims or anybody else. Because today is Muslims. Who is it going to be tomorrow? So I want you, I want to ask you to be mindful about what you read, hear and see in the media. But also the next time you meet somebody who is a Muslim or whatever. Choose love over fear. Choose to be a kind person. Choose to see the best in that person. They might have be having a bad day, but if you choose to see the best in them, that person will show up for you and they will be kind in return. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments what you think of it. For this tutorial you need the following. 2 meters or yards of sweatshirt fleece and 7 meters or yards of trimmings for the long version. 1.5 meters or yards of fabric and 6 meters or yards of trimmings for the short version and a 30 cm or 11 inch non-separatable zipper for both. Fold your fabric double and place a dress on top to determine the length you want and then add a hoodie. Place the hoodie near the side and cut the shape halfway. Fold it double and then cut the rest. Place the sleeve of your hoodie on the fabric and cut the sleeves. Place your sleeve over the fabric and cut again. And this is what we have so far. Open both pieces and with the dress facing the right side, place the trimmings. I did it in the wrong order, which is why you see the sleeves here, but I will show you the right order and steps in the tutorial. Pin the trimmings and sew it on both ends. On the back I placed it further apart, then I pinned it and sewed it. Cut the trimmings for the sleeves, pin them and then sew it.
with the right side up, determine where you will place the zipper. Cut it open and then hem it on both sides. Turn it to the wrong side, place your zipper with the wrong side up and pin it. I spotted this technique for placing a zipper on a blog and wanted to give it a try. I will include the link for this in the description box. Sew the zipper, turn it around and continue. I sewed it with a regular foot, but you can use a zipper foot for this if you prefer. The cool thing about this method is that you can hardly see the zipper on the front. Now place both pieces on top with the front facing each other. Pin the top and the sides and do the same thing for the sleeves and sew it. The dress is with the wrong side up. Turn your sleeves to the right side and then place them in the dress. Place the hem of the sleeve on the hem of the dress and then pin all around. Then sew it on both sides using a zigzag stitch. Hem the neckline and then you can cut any excess fabric. Fold the bottom double and stretch the neckline, then cut the hood. Pin it, sew it and then hem the front part. Pin the hood on the bottom all along the neckline with the right sides facing each other. Sew it and you're done for the long version. And this is what the long version looks like. I decided to cut mine shorter, though my intention was to make it long in the first place. So I cut the bottom and hemmed it. And this is the final look. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click like and subscribe for more videos. 
and I would be very grateful if you share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching! You can buy the tutorial for this sexy black dress now for $7.99. Click the link to make your purchase. And if you want to buy fabrics online, check out my Etsy shop.